Hello, Internet! Welcome back! Ugh, oh, what an excellent dinner. Sorry for, uh, the last episode being somewhat short, but, hey, I'm never late when my wife cooks. Why? Because she's an excellent cook. Hello there. Oh. Hi there. Ah. Come on. Another one down. Go for command, huh? How much are you? Oh, two of them. Still two or just one? Ah, damn it. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. Violence and bloodshed, violence and bloodshed. Da, da, da. <laughs> Oh, uh, so many guns, I could sell them all and actually make a lot of money, but... Hmm. What? What was with this guy? Like, okay, I'm not hearing the shootout. I'm not going there. I'm just... I'm... I don't know. Just waiting. I I Give me your blood. Enough of this. The thug says, "Oh, ooh." <laughs> I like that up in the left corner. Probably for people who can't hear. So, it's a good thing. Uh, additional parking. What's this? Nothing. What is this? A car stereo. It's kind of strange. I can pick up several car stereos. But I can't pick up several pistols. Just one. Aggravates me. Stupid game. Stupid, stupid. Where's that bird? Can hear you. Where's the bird? Look, look at all the baseball bats. I could, I could. This is enough for a whole minor league team. I could sell it to them. I'd be rich. Get baseball bats. The Pike Vaffa baseball bats. With blood on them. Ooh. More parking. Does Michael Moore know you're using his name? I wonder. And who might you be? Can I do blood strike from here? Do you mean out of range? Oh. Ooh, hit you again. Uh oh. Holy shit. Guy is coming at me with a suitcase. Oh. Well, no one else wants to bluntly, stupidly, but bravely storm ahead. Oh, there's one. Uh, uh, got you. Uh, 
Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, you're no match for me. Oh, hi there. Ooh, in the nuts. That must have hurt. This is not the suitcase. Not the suitcase. I have no idea why not, but it's not. Yeah, where was I? Up, da, da. Hmm. Can't pick up pistols, can't pick up bats. Oh, there's one guy who conveniently waited for me. Hi there. Hi there. Ah. Hi there. Thank you. Oh, ooh, ah. <laughs> Very nice scripting, I must say. Hmm. Okay. Uh, look at the guy. No, 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 no. I have nothing to do with this. No, no. <laughs> I'm running. I can't pick up these either. <sighs> I like this Glock. Nice weapon. Where where do they come from? Glock sounds German, actually. Or Austrian. Or uh, Swiss. Maybe it's Swiss. Okay, where's that last guy? Suitcase. Briefcase. What? You, you know I'm here? You know I'm here? Oh my! He, he knows I'm here. I know you're here too! Hello! Oh, damn it! You, you know I'm here! Uh, jump, jumping up and down. <laughs> Door? No. Nice car, huh? Mm, not so nice car. Ooh, what's this? Oh, ooh. Mm -hmm. Dessert. I got dessert. Mm, chocolate. <laughs> Closed. The asylum. Oh, no. Bad club. I know it. I've been there. Don't go there. Mm. Mm. A bitch is crazy. I tell you. What, no shortcut? I, I've got to walk up the whole way. All of it. <sighs> okay. Exit. <laughs> At least there are signs. <laughs> Can't lose my way. That's good. Exit. That went pretty fast. Actually, the whole parking lot should be full of corpses. But mysteriously, they disappear. Every time you kill someone, they just disappear. Oh, except for this guy. That's kind of strange. Why did he not disappear? It's mysterious. There must be something wrong with him. <laughs> He's cursed. Actually, uh, in uh, Vampire the Masquerade, or actually in the Dark Ages Vampire, there is a clan... Uh, the uh, Cappadocians, who can actually, well, not simply kill, but if they suck dry someone, he turns to dust. Which is pretty convenient if you imagine you're in, in medieval times, which means that uh, a really big city had about twenty to 30,000, and a real metropolis had about, like, 100,000, and Rome probably had, like, 300,000, and not more. And all of a sudden, you need to make a corpse disappear. Now, if it just turns to dust, you go like, that's the easy way out. If you're, a, if you're a normal standard vampire and you have this corpse in your arms and you hear the guards coming, not so easy. Mmm, mm, mm, chocolate. But, um, 
He's gone too. Oh, what's this? Baton. Police baton. Okay. Really? Can I use this? I can. Oh no, I can't. It's a melee weapon. <laughs> no, 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 no. No way. Hi there. Oh, these guys are still here. I really have to take care of the plague, but Larry first. Um. Wow. You're an excessive smoker, I really must say. Partner! Partner! Yeah. I got the briefcase. Outstanding! Pass it over here, partner. There you yeah, go. That's beautiful. Everything looks in order. <laughs> Somebody somewhere got to be pissed off by losing this. <laughs> Too bad I sent my man right here, Astor. All right. Let me peel off a few bills for you. Yeah. I'll just drop this off to the new owner in the morning. Then I'm going to give me a big old steak. Not that domestic stuff neither. I'm gonna order up 32 ounces of Kobe beef, the expensive shit. You wanna come? My treat. Um, I'll have to pass. I'm uh, unavailable during the day. Okay, um. My man, what is up? I need to do some shopping, Larry. Here, you can have that police baton. You can have one knife. And one baseball bat. Oh, and the stereo. Right. right. Okay, that was fun. Now, let's... Turn the music down. I need to think. Okay, Pisha wants me to find two occult items. Can't do that yet. So, damsel. Yeah, that was the next thing I wanted to do. The plague bearer rides. The kindred responsible for the outbreak of the LA epidemic. She has suggested going to speak with the ghoul Paul at the Skyline Apartments or talking to some of the bums around the city. Okay. Okay. The Skyline Apartments. Conveniently near. Um, got ten again, so I can up this one. Man, I what three? This is gonna be an interesting game. Okay. There's blood upon the door. <laughs> <sighs> Why, I wonder. Who could have done this deed? Why did you bring those daggers down? Oh. What's wrong with him? Is he still sleeping because of something I did? <laughs> hmm, strange. Okay, I'm looking for Paul. So it must be number five. Mr. Anderson. Oh. Oh. Mr. Anderson. <laughs> Number five. 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 I remember when I first played this game, elevators were like death traps. The game sucked so many times. This just stayed there forever. Nothing else happened. You were in a lift and it went like uh, for 20 minutes. Never stopped. And while I'm speaking, this might just happen again, but no. Okay. That's kind of extremely irritating. Hello? Ah, okay. <laughs> Game? That's not very nice of you, scaring me like that. Okay, hello. 
There is something smoking over there. It's a dead guy. But the telephone is smoking. Hi, Paul. It's Hannah. Just calling to see how you are. I hope I didn't give you what I've got. Uh, I feel like crap. Actually, I need to ask you a favor. Could you pick me up some cold medicine at the store? <coughs> I hate to bother you, but I can't seem to get out of bed. The code on my door is one, two, Oh, three. Hey, listen, I, uh, had a really good time the other night. Maybe we could do it again sometime. Sorry, I'm rambling. Okay, bye. Okay. That's what I find strange about Americans, okay? They are sick. They buy medicine at the store. At the store? You out of your mind? Why don't you go to a really first-class doctor? Because I don't have health insurance. And health insurance is a bad idea because it somehow uh, limits my freedom or stuff. <laughs> okay, since he's dead and since it wasn't me, I could... Oh, I've been here before. Oh, you're a bruise, a ghoul? I knew bruges don't have taste. This is terrible. I mean, I'm not a Tory, but... Whoa. Guy. Really. Oh. Okay. So. Number six. Oh, that's, that's this hottie. Cutie. Hottie. I remember. I read the reports by the uh, janitor. Who has cameras in every room. <laughs> that's sicko. Okay, but she likes her privacy. One, two, oh, three, go. Thank you. Hello, milkman. <laughs> Cable guy. <laughs> oh, terrible mirrors. Okay. Nothing really in here. Uh, ba 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 ba. Ooh, but she's got taste. This is pretty cool. Yeah, look at that. Medieval woodcuts. Oh. Uh, uh, what's this? Key. Safe key. What kind of safe key? You have a safe here? Or is it the safe? Maybe she is a friend of the lady who has the safe. But no, you open the safe with a computer, right? Desk. Darkness. What's in here? Oh. Paul, is that? Hey, you're not Paul. Who are you? What are you doing in here? <coughs> oh, oh, oh. Um. Uh, oh, okay. So you want me to be suave. All right, I can do that. Paul sent me over. I'm a doctor. You sound pretty sick, Hannah. What's wrong? <coughs> I don't really know. I, I've taken all kinds of medicine, but I can't seem to get rid of it. I... I feel like I got a fever and a sore throat. <coughs> I'm real weak. Can't seem to get out of bed. What day is it? I can't remember. Huh. <laughs> no. I want something from her, so I won't slap the truth into her face. Not yet. Sounds pretty bad. Where did you get it? Which is what I actually want to know. Well, I think I got sick from one of my... <coughs> Clients. I was feeling fine until I, I, uh, I saw her a few days ago. What business are you in exactly? Oh, well, guess what business is she in now? Who was this client? She was just a woman who called. She, uh, she found my ad in the newspaper. <coughs> Usually only do business with referrals, you know, but she was offered a lot of money. 
If you only do business with referrals, why do you have an ad in the newspaper? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, what can you tell me about this woman? <coughs> Her name was Jezebel. Jezebel Locke. Ta da! Not too good with names, you know, but hers was so strange. <coughs> I can't seem to get it out of my head. Well, tell me more before you die, because you're surely gonna die because this plague is deadly. Um, where did you meet her? I know where she lives. She lives in the uh, Empire Arms Hotel because I've checked the guest list. So, was there anything else strange about her? Anything at all? Yeah, I mean, I think so. <coughs> to tell you the truth, I don't really remember a whole lot about that night, you know. <coughs> Everything's a little blurry, you know. I mean, I'm not usually, you know, into women, but I remember feeling so attracted to her. I thought she was the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen. <laughs> well, the next thing that's clear <laughs> is when I woke up the next morning. <laughs> I've been feeling too well since then. To tell you the truth, I have other friends who've, who've uh, worked with her, and they're not doing so hot either, you know? <laughs> so she's my target. Another kill in the hotel. <laughs> okay. So, question number one is stupid because, hey, nope, neither is Paul. Your disease killed him. No, Paul, it's not true. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Rest in peace, bitch. See ya. Ah. Ooh, dead, dead, dead. What's this? Oh, safe. That's new. That's totally new. Money. Great. You must be a... Uh, uh, you were a high class... Uh... Oh, what's this? Appointment book. Wow, but I really, really like her taste. I mean, look at this stuff. This is excellent. Wow. Okay. Jezebel Locke, huh? Uh, I guess I have to tell Damsel first, huh? Hannah has pointed you in the direction of one Jezebel Locke as a possible link in the plague bear chain. She makes her residence at the Empire Arms Hotel. Well, I could tell that to the regent, but no. Maximilian is rather the man to have perfect solutions. But I should tell Damsel. Um, oh no. I'll go to the uh, Empire Arms Hotel first. I'll just kill the bitch and then I'll tell Damsel. That's a good plan. Um, anything else? Oh yeah. The book. This book. This looks like a standard appointment book. Arthur Kilpatrick! Arthur! Cool! He makes enough money to pay somebody like this? Wow. Meet Arthur at his place in Santa Monica. Remember to bring the handcuffs and the orange jumpsuit as he likes to play lockdown at the women's prison? This guy is sick. You really did it in his office? <laughs> that place is... Oh, well. Va oh, Vandal, too. Vandal B, 730 in the blood bank. Bring pliers and the blowtorch. Okay. That doesn't sound funny. David Hatter. Room 413 at the Lucky Star in Hollywood. He likes that weird umbrella and water balloon thing. Guys, I, I'm an old man. I've got five kids. But my imagination is not good enough to even fathom what they're talking about here Simon Milligan downstairs in his room god I hate that guy why do you do it then Paul Anderson an honest to god date for free wow I can't believe he asked me out I'm so excited Jezebel Locke new client responded to my ad in the paper she has a suit at the Empire Hotel I don't know what to think of this one but there's something about her her voice I don't know. She's offering big bucks, so I guess I can't pass it up. 
Well, greed. It's always greed. Greed or curiosity. Let's go downstairs. Jezebel Lock. Bing. Okay. You wake up by now? Yeah, you did. Hi. You're still angry with me? You are one sick nut. Can I tell you that? With all those cameras and shit. Okay. Uh, well, we'll go to the Empire Arms Hotel in the next episode. It's gonna be fun, I'm quite sure. <sighs> Pike is signing off. Till then, see ya. Do do do.